up? This KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. And I mean that motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down that motherfucking game. Oh, yeah. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping hot status, you're going to get it down your phone. Into your ear, all ear candy game. Oh, yeah. If you got any comments, get at me in my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. It's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or if you just get at me on YouTube or any social sites you see up there, you know I prefer the Gmail. But holler at me, though. I'm all ears. Let's get right into it. She'll trick you into providing for her. Oh, yeah. Damn right. If you dealt with lots of women... In your life, you know, lots of chicks or whatever, you know. Then you should already know that being manipulative is their only strong suit. Oh, yeah. That's their only strong suit is just being manipulative. Trying to get over, trying to get what they want. They're women. You know, we're physical. We're men. They like to touch the brain with manipulation. A female will say and do the most when she wants something from you. You may not think too far ahead of her capabilities when it comes to her trying to get shit off. You like, man, shit, I ain't, you know, you you looking at it, you know, this is my woman I'm going to provide for. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Don't let nobody knock you. Hey, man, you don't get a bitch shit. You don't get them nothing. You don't do this. Do Look here, man. Everything on earth costs. This is real shit, man. It's how you go about doing it. It's how the reciprocation goes down and how she can, you know, actually give back. That's how the thing goes. You know, that's just real shit. That what makes a strong relationship if you're leaning towards a relationship. Not only just you providing, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to be the provider, protecting security of her. You know that as a man, as her husband or as her baby daddy boyfriend or whatever, you know those things. But things got to be reciprocated in order for the relationship to develop and keep going. That's just human nature. Now, let's... Talk about it. You may look at it like it's the norm to provide from your woman, which it is, due to being in this west, you know, due to being in this western region, we as men already adopted the mentality. There's nothing wrong with actually providing. Now, if the now if the reciprocate now if it's reciprocated in a manipulation, a manipulative type of way. Man, then fuck her. And that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? If it's... You know, if it, if, it, if it's being received in in a way to where she's only trying to manipulate, her, manipulate you, man, then fuck her, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't look to provide for something like that. A motherfucker like that belongs to the block, the pavements, the streets, however you want to look at it. Man, get the fuck out of here. And that's real shit. However, she's aware of the fact that you, however, once again, let me get back to it. She's aware of the fact that you will be there to support her. This may be your girlfriend, your wife, or just your baby mama. All three knows how to milk the situation for what it's worth. Oh, yeah. All three entities. No matter what title it is, they definitely know how to milk the situation for what it's worth. Now, let's dig into it. Your girlfriend will more than likely throw up what the last dude or dudes did for her in order to get you to comply with her orders. That's that girlfriend shit. You know, if you ain't got no girlfriend, you know, you, you, this ain't your baby mom, it's not your wife. It, it can go either way. You can be like, man, fuck out of here. Kick rocks and go jump to the next one. And she can go jump to the next one. So it can go either way. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you're a committed man to this woman, and this could be your girlfriend, and she's allegedly committed to you as her girlfriend, you know, as, you know what I'm saying, your girl, you know, your girlfriend, then she will more likely throw up the last relationships and what dudes done for her. How dudes did this, how they took her here, how they took her there, how they bought her this, how they bought her that, how they gave her this, how they gave her that. Oh, yeah. And a lot of you fellas out here know that you dealt with that, dealing with a girlfriend. And what you do, you turn around 
and took it a little bit further. Probably married to your baby mama. <laughs> probably married to your wife. After you seen these red flags at the beginning. You seen them. Now it's up to you on how the outcome may come out when dealing with her. Everything going to go bad? More than likely 10 times out of 10 it is. She gave you a hint from the beginning. But you got to pay attention to their conversation. Pay attention to all that shit. Those red flags are always there at the beginning. Pay attention to them. And that's real. Especially if she sees that you're the type to get jealous whenever she mentions another man or if she has a kid or kids that you may like, she'll use them too. Women can smell fear in a man who's so into them. So if you so into her like that, she know all she got to do is just manipulate the situation and you're going to come crawling. Why? Because you up her ass 24-7. Not literally being there with her 24-7, but, you know, you don't see nothing but her. You're blinded. You got tunnel vision. It's straight her, her and on, you know, her and her on. So she'll use that to manipulate you into getting what she want up out of you. And it's not out of care and concern, man. It's not out of what she actually need. It's out of just getting shit off on you. Getting over. Doing things to go against the situation at hand. Doing things to go against the relationship. You know, just to get ahead. That's real shit. Now, if it's your wife, she'll definitely use the vows you both committed to under oath to get you to comply with her orders. Oh, yeah. Wives are totally different. I've never been married. No, not me. However, I've seen them in action and it can get ugly. Not only that she'll threaten to leave the relationship with half, if not all your shit, she'll get with other bitter wives and rebel against you. She'll definitely do shit to keep an argument going so you'll give her the space she's always wanted and she'll get with other wives. She'll get with other wives then you'll see the stand out you know, you know, to stand at the work late or to not coming home on time type shit. Fucking with your head because of your attachment to her. And that's real shit. It's not necessarily saying she's out cheating and flirting, you know, fucking with guys, having sex and orgies and all this crazy ass shit you probably see in these porn flicks and all these movies or you probably have heard about different shit. And yeah, that shit's out there. You know, it's there. However, that may not be your situation. She may do shit to fuck with your head because of the attachment you guys got. Y'all got vows. So it's easy. She knows you. So she know how to, um, you know, push your buttons, get up under your skin. You know what I'm saying? Roughing your feathers. She know how to do those things. That's what wives do in order to get you to comply with their orders. And it's all, I mean, it's all a part of their game. And that's how women are. Now, let's get straight to it. Male stripper parties, or she could be just out for drinks and flirting with friends. Oh, yeah. Wives do all that type of shit. You know? Wives are... Let me see. How, how can I... I've never been married. I don't think I ever will get married. That's not my cup of tea. That's not my thing. I'm not that... I'm not, you know, it's, it's not for everyone. You know, you might look at it, oh, it's the part of the religion. It's the part of the tradition. It's probably a part of your religion, part of your tradition. You know, we all got our own things that we value on earth, and marriage is not my, I don't, I don't value marriage. Not at all. Why? Because it doesn't benefit me as a man. It doesn't benefit me. I'm a, I'm into, I'm into business, you know, I'm into what's fair. I'm in to get mine. I'm in the what's benefits what what benef, what's beneficial for me. And a marriage definitely isn't beneficial for me. It don't do a take for me. So I ain't got time for it. I don't I'm not into that. However, some of you fellas are, and I'm not knocking you for being into that. You know, it is there for you to do. You know, some of you fellas may not can 
stomach the fact that you know there's multiple women that probably want to get what you want to get with multiple women you 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 cool with that life some of you may not have that in you so you might be the marriage type but you got to remember these can be the cons that come with being married if you're married to a woman that's not you know getting what she wants or she thinks she's not getting what she's want what she want or what she's deserving of or you know or she's she's got games in her back pocket and she got no problem playing those games you know and some of you guys are married to women like that. Some of you guys got children by women like that. Some of you guys actually sleep with women like that. It's your girlfriend or whatever. You know, you got to be aware of what you're dealing with. And it all comes from the beginning. Pay attention to those red flags, man. And that's just real. Now, baby mamas are the worst. And that's just real. Baby, hands down, nigga. Baby mamas are the worst. When it comes from them trying to trick you into doing shit, they are the worst. You know, they don't, you know, I mean, a lot of them don't never really, and I'm not going to say all of them are into just tricking you and trying to get you. That's not 100% every woman on earth. Majority of them, yeah. You got damn right. Why? It's because it's within their nature to get what they want. A lot of women don't know how to have a conversation. A lot of women don't know how to sit down and tell you the things that they want, the things that they, they, they need and the things that they feel like this relationship may need, you know what I'm saying, to keep the course running or whatever it may take. They may they may not be like that. A lot of women are not like that. A lot of women acts out in their own way to get what they want. And then you'll find out later on down the line, damn, that's all this bitch wanted? Yeah, man. That's all she wanted. She wanted just this and that, this and that. You're like, huh? But you took me through all these hoops and hurdles and do this maze and all that shit just to get... Yeah, because they're dramatic. They are fucking suspenseful. That's They like them fucking suspense movies and shit. That's, women are... Yeah, they... They can be difficult like that, bro. <laughs> Real shit. Now, a baby mama will always hold the kid or kids over your head in order to get you to comply with her orders. Taking the kids away and threatening you with child support speaks for everything. Baby mama holds the key to your freedom, no matter what. Spend you knock them up, you got that child bomb, and they on some manipulative shit. You know what I'm saying? They narcissistic about themselves, non-caring. You can be tagged along with this type of shit. Yours truly been through that. Oh, yeah. You got baby mamas out there that's fucked up like that. Let's get to it. My baby mama tried to run with my kids out of town. She tried to raise my support payments by 100% down there. That's just real. This is me, bro. That's real shit. She tried to manipulate the judge to send me to prison because I modified my payments to what fits me and my children. You know? I've always stayed 10 moves ahead of her. So none of the shit she tried fell on to me. Hell no. Nah. And the reason why it didn't fall on to me because I knew who I was dealing with, you know, and I was young and dumb at that time of catching those red flags. I was just running around this motherfucker trying to bust nuts. Fucking with this woman, this woman, that woman, hundreds. I mean, I'm, dude, I've juggled a lot of women. When I was younger, I juggled a whole lot of women without brains, just straight up pipe. Not even thinking. Yeah, I wore condoms. I also been through my little situations where a nigga that been burnt, all type of shit, nigga, when I was young. Oh, yeah. Fucking with all these little young, dirty, pussy-ass chicks. Yeah, I've been through that. Yeah. So, it's fortunate I only got two children. You know, by one chick. But it's unfortunate who the fuck I got them by. And that's just real shit. That's why I never further on with having more children because I learned my lesson from there. I should have caught on to the red flags when I was younger, but I was hothead. I was moving and grooving, you know? And I would, or I, or I would have seen this type of behavior because she already had a child before I got with her. That was a red flag out of Mac. And for you young fellas out there, pay attention to this. If you don't have any children, and this goes for the young women too. I got young women that support this subscribers, and I got women subscribers. For you young women, 
I tell my son and my daughter this. And I'm going to tell you this. This is real shit. You fresh. You don't have any children. Don't you get with no motherfucker that got children. Don't do it. Remember, you're fresh. You don't have any children. You can come and go as you please. You can start things as you please. You can do what the fuck you want to. You got a whole life ahead of you. You haven't put no obstacle in your way to stop you from succeeding in life. A lot of young fellas have. A lot of young women have. They have done that to themselves. And if you're the type, I mean, if you're the um, subscriber that haven't done that, then pay attention to this. You're fresh. I'm going to always say that. Do not get with nobody with children. Not at all. Why? It's because you don't deserve to put yourself in that situation. You deserve to start out fresh. So if you meet you, for the young fellas, if you meet you a young female that don't have children, you want to start a family, that'd be the perfect way. Trying to start one with somebody that's already imprinted, uh, I wouldn't suggest it and I wouldn't advise you to do it. Not at all. Young women, if you don't have any children and you meet a young guy, you digging him, you like him, you want to build with him, he don't have none, I would advise you to start that way. Other than that, it's a chance you're going to fuck your life over getting with someone that's already, you know, <laughs> she's already imprinted in so many words. So, when you got that fresh start, utilize it and take advantage of it. Now, all this bullshit because I wasn't falling into the trap she prepared for me. My nigga, they use any method to get what they want out of you. Always stay 10 steps ahead. And if you do not take stay 10 steps ahead, you're going to fall 100 steps backwards. <laughs> and that's just real shit. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's a motherfucking message. Remember this. There's nothing wrong with providing for your woman, man. You may hear a lot of channels out here. You do this, you do, you dick them down. You, 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 you hit them, you smash and dash. You do all that type of shit. You got to also understand that Nothing on earth is free but a Bible. That's just real shit. Nothing on earth is free but a Bible. And yes, having game and utilizing your game always help you out to where you can save some of that money. You ain't got to be putting that shit out there like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's a motherfucking message. Nothing on earth is free. Nothing is. You know? And there's a difference. Between nothing on earth being free and you just being a straight up dumbass because you've been manipulated. It's two different things. Holla.